What's up everybody? Welcome back to FS2S. Today I got something a little bit different going on. I have a special guest coming on. Uh, his name is Junior. Uh, if you guys follow any of my videos, he's actually the one who helps me take my exhaust off in the chapter two, I believe it is, of the 6-4 project. And uh, you can see a little bit of his truck here and there, but today we're gonna be going over his whole build list. Can't wait to check it out. He should be coming any second. I hope you guys enjoy. Perfect. Looks like here he comes right now. And there it is as it sits. What's going on, Junior? Nothing much, how about you? Oh, I'm good. Can't wait to check this thing out. Why don't you tell me a little bit about it? Uh, so this is my 2012 2500 Ram, 6.7 Cummins. How long have you had it? About a year and a half. About a year and a half. Around this there. Did you do all this work? Uh, Yeah, pretty much. It came with a six inch lift and some 10 wides and stuff, some minor stuff. Though. Okay, pretty so much you... everything is redone, it's a rebuild. Right on, you swapped everything out? Yeah. All right. Well, what do you want to get into first? Uh, we could start with suspension. Okay. Work our way from the bottom to the top. It's sitting on an eight inch McGoy's kit uh, all around front and back with traction bars and uh, box uh, control arms. It has Fox 2.0 shocks all the way around, back, front. Uh, powder coated flame red to match the truck's color as well. Moving on to the wheels and tires for the move. The tires, I got uh, Toyo Open Country mud tires. They're 37s by 13 and a half. For the wheels, I got American Force Wheel 14 wides uh, Evo SS8s uh, polished with the spiked lug nuts just to complement the wheels. Uh, I'm not sure what year. I think 15 after that, the new grills without the lettering, it was color matched, except for the chrome, along with a bumper. And then I put a 31 inch light bar with replacing the fog lights with pods as well. The headlights I made custom made myself with uh, just color matching them and then getting switch back turn signals. And then I also got um, LED concept halos on there as well. From the side profile of the truck, there's really nothing custom besides, you know, obviously the wheels, the lift, and that badge. But moving on to the back of the truck, uh, I decided to color match the rear bumper to match the front bumper and everything color match as well. I did smoked out aftermarket tail lights along with that third brake light to go with the tint. And then I also installed these flush mount pods in the back to complement the one in the front. I got this main event emblem uh, aftermarket badge as well stainless steel brush with uh, red to match the truck. The red was spun on. I did not ask for the exact same red, but it was still the exact same red either way. Um, I also got this aftermarket 12 inch drop down hitch for whenever I use it for tow. I don't use it that much, but it's there just in case for practical uses. Under the bed itself, there's also a train horn compressor under there, a horn blasters. Uh, I think it's the bullet series. As far as everything goes, the truck is fully deleted, including EGR and DPF. It has a straight uh, turbo back exhaust, straight pipe. It runs five inches to a six inch tip all the way through. It's uh, an axle dump. I, I just like the way it looks like that. It came like that too, so I just kept it. As far as other performance things, it's nothing too much. It has a HS Minimax tuner, uh, nothing too high. It has an aftermarket cold air intake. It has an aftermarket BD diesel uh, turbo uh, from 64.5 compressor to a 70 millimeter turbine. A little bit bigger than the stock one, but nothing, nothing too risky. All right, I think it's time to take this thing for a drive.
Oh no, fun's over. How's it going? Hey, you at the dirt bike up here? No. No, that's, I don't know who that is. Yeah. All right then, cool. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, it was, how long have you guys been down here? Uh, we've been down here probably maybe 20 minutes. Okay. Has he been up there the whole time? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. Thanks, man. Yeah, no problem. Have a good day. You too. Well, I guess fun's not over. That's such a sick truck. Really makes me think about my old 6.7 build. If you guys haven't already, make sure to give him a follow on Instagram at CO Cummins. Also, if you're interested, you can go ahead and give me a follow on Instagram. That's from shit to sick. And on there, you can actually stay updated on when I'm about to post new videos. Uh, you can see everything that's going on before it gets uploaded onto YouTube. Make sure you stay tuned for chapter four of the 6-4 project. Got a lot of good things that are about to happen to this truck. So make sure you stay tuned. Other than that, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you guys later.